Hey everybody, welcome back to Northern Land, please. Abiding Isaac Afterbirth Plus, where we have been doing gangbusters lately as Eden, and we're gonna hope to continue to do the same thing here today. Oh, the, the freaking vibration on this telephone, man. Okay, well we got Explosivo. Uh, decent damage, bad rate of fire, good items though, and we're not on an XL floor? We are not on an XL floor. Uh, we also have Drain You, which means that we'll be, uh, Taking damage red heart wise before we take damage spirit heart wise. I mean, obviously it's the case now because we don't have any spirit hearts. Otherwise, it just wouldn't make any. Wow, we got the quarter for free. That's pretty lucky. Otherwise, it just wouldn't make any dang sense. But um, we have to keep aware of that if we're going to. All right, it's a confusing situation. <laughs> we have to keep aware of that if we're gonna. If we're gonna use our um, our trinket accordingly here, I'm gonna go pretty deep on this. I think. I don't know how much I want to. Th oh god, that was terrible. Uh, I think I'm gonna go grab this, grab this, pop this, and then leave. You know what? I can't go just yet. I, I want to keep the nail, actually, as well. Why can't I quit you? <sighs> Judgment. Okay, we're going to leave for now. I, we're also going to get hurt on the way out. Okay, so that was... <laughs> should we have done that? Uh, no. That was way, way, way too aggressive. And the plays on the Demon Judgment were horrible. So now we're on one Spirit Heart. And, well, I'll tell you one thing. It certainly makes the run more interesting. No question about that. But we should still be fine. Just don't let it get inside of your head, basically. Also, don't let your Explosivo shots hit you. And if possible... You know what? I'm not gonna fuck about with it. I was like, maybe I can get my Explosivo shots to explode on these enemies in that section of the map. That seems like too much work for us to uh, really concern ourselves with right now. I'm gonna throw down that Judgment. My, my idea there was that maybe they would blow up the Judgment and get me a bomb and I could use that to get a Tinted Rock uh, or get that Spirit Heart right off the bat. But we're really only two rooms away from being completely set and erasing the relatively negative consequences of my actions. But do keep in mind, Pretty Fly is pretty good, um, do keep in mind, oh, the Omega Penny though, okay, give it a second here. Do keep in mind that um, for all of the negatives it might have seemed that happened there, we still have one guppy item in the in the hopper, you know, in the stack. We got um, one step closer to bookworm, and we got deal with the devil precedent. So I don't actually feel like it was maybe as colossal of a fuck up on that room as it as it originally looked. Especially because we're about to be at four spirit hearts. I am probably gonna take the omega penny. Even though it jeopardizes our run, it's such a fun item uh, that I, I can't say no to it. And every time I, I use it, I learn something new about it. And it makes your run zany without just making it easy like the D100 does. Okay, that was extremely dangerous. Um, so we're actually going to be at three spirit hearts, which is not quite as good. With the tears downgrade. <laughs> All right, well, let's do it, right? What did I signed up for it? Let's do it. Don't care about the nail at that much, but I'll tell you what, like double this. Ooh, baby, we got two screw items. Okay, already feeling good about it. Now I think we also would like to get more spirit hearts if possible. So what if we just, okay, well, we tried. We paid four cents for nothing, is the way that I'm gonna choose to think about that. Um, Sick. That's great news, sort of. I think we did okay there, all things considered. I mean, it was a little zany, but we went from having, like, a god-awful rate of fire to an excellent rate of fire just due to one great, uh, well, a stroke of great luck, if we're being honest. But Omega Penny, like, thank you so much for your support here, please. So what do we need to succeed? Well, we're on our first guaranteed deal with the Devil Floor, being in the somewhat awkward position of having given away, um the health that we were probably going to use to finance a deal with the devil. So, really the only guaranteed deals with the devil that we'd take are, are deals with the devil that gave us 
uh, HP back. So we, we'd take pretty much any of those, to be honest with you. The Pact. Uh, the Mark is slightly trickier, maybe. That is awesome. Because the Mark gives you a little less HP, but... So just by doubling this, all of a sudden now, we got all these other avenues. Like, I want to get another charge. Because these items, well, less so, uh, of course, IV bag, but these items, the empty pedestals contained within will give us more charges as well. The other, we could try to just duplicate uh, the sack of pennies, I guess, and then if it actually worked, um, every time we got a sack of pennies, we'd get two pennies. You know what's better than one sack of pennies? Two pennies. No question about that. I don't know, though. But this is why I like this item. It makes you think. We've still got uh, item room and shop to go to on this floor. We have been a little slow, but that slowness has been rewarded with at least weirdness so far. And I'm, I'm very pro that, I would say. I wish that you had not done that. Please get away from me. We need some damage upgrades. Like, that is on the list right now. The list of things that I would like. Because our tiers are great... But keep in mind, like, the Explosivo shots, when they hit, don't actually deal damage. So we could use a little bit more hurting power uh, on the regular to, to make it a bit more of an easy sell. I'm trying to see if our Explosivo shots would make it over that rock and, and hit. Doesn't appear to be the case. Keep yourself back here. I mean, I kind of, I, I found a, a dearth of things to talk about there because I'm still waiting on this Omega Penny play to see how, oh my god, what is this? Uh, uh, oh! <laughs> I had to, dude! It was a doubled item room. How do you go on a doubled item room and not try to turn it into a quadrupled item room? You must, you're, you're a bigger man than I am, I'll tell you that much. If you got the sack to do that. So what, what's my play now? Well, I know we're going to get... I know, oh my god, cat, don't jump on the computer. It's bad for every party involved. Um, I'm going to try to get another charge, knowing we probably have the ability to get another charge on our uh, on our shop as well. Okay, so we're going to like exactly get the right amount of charge. It's quite a lot of money, actually. Hey, Ruka, what's going on, buddy? Wish me luck, please. As we go fight Monstro here. Don't like jumping enemies. The Explosivo shots have a tendency to, to get lost in the mail. That one might go off though. Ooh, it did. Did a lot of damage. Okay. So, I'm thinking, we see what we want here. Maybe we just want to try to duplicate what he's got. Or maybe we want to go for like four sacks of pennies. I think we just want to take that because it's not that good. And then in here, oh my god. Judas's Shadow. This is so good. We've had this so much recently, but I stand by this as being, like, a fantastic option for us. So, now life is interesting. Let's go peep this room. There is a battery charge, but I want all those items, and I want them for free. I know it's demanding, but if you can't handle me at my worst, you don't deserve me at my best. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to come over here. Oh, baby, I love your way. What are we going to take here? Two sacks of pennies. All that for two sacks of pennies? You, fuck you, dude! Yeah, all that for two sacks of pennies? You got a problem, you can suck on my sack of pennies! That's a little gross, I apologize. Everybody gets one. Alright, we're Dark Judas. Let's get in here. Good damage now. Where's our... We buy the Spirit Heart as well, if they've got one. <sighs> yeah, buy the Spirit Heart. And then try to get these for free, and the world's our oyster. I don't think you can hold four trinkets. So I think this is going to have to be as good as it's going to get. Hey, Ruka, what's up, buddy? You going to come over here and sit in front of the monitor really awkwardly so I can't see what's on the screen? Cool, dude. That's, that's cool. That's exactly what that is. It's, it's a cool thing. Um, we're going to head down to the next floor. I don't know what the fuck's going on with this run, but we're looking pretty great right now. Did you see that we have two sacks of pennies? Two sacks of pennies, Ruka. What is a boy to do with two sacks of pennies? All right, now, yeah, again, you're my best friend in this in this world, you, Tomo, and Kate. But if you could get out of here, 
couldn't see the the creep on the ground. It's very distracting. Uh, my apologies for that. It was unprofessional. Downright unprofessional. Thank you, sack of pennies. I don't care about the nickel. It's the doubled sack. That's doing amazing work for me right now. Uh, stay back, stay back, stay back. We're going to... Basically, like, we're still just trying to keep ourselves alive. In my own defense, we've only been hit, like, once since we took the Omega. Oh my god, he's so small and fast. He's like Michael Pinball Clemens, the former running back for the Toronto Argonauts. Okay, uh, double key room. And a tinted rock and a secret room? No secret room, but... A Yara rune, which is good with the Omega Penny, potentially. Not rerolling the whole run. You know why? We got the Omega Penny, dude. I know there are some people who are going to take issue with that. The Omega Penny is zany for two reasons. First off, novelty factor. Secondly, persistence. If we reroll, we're going to have no space bar item. What are we hoping for in terms of zaniness? Oh, we got a Cricket's Body. You know, okay. Real zany. I, I prefer the persistent zaniness over the, uh, over the occasional, you know, one-time zane. Very thankful for that demon heart. We're not investing a lot into semi-risky situations here. We're really just trying to keep ourselves afloat. There's no reason to double money equals power, so instead, yeah, we're just, uh... And now, all of you motherfuckers who laughed at me for that, for being so excited about two sacks of pennies. Who's laughing now? Who's laughing now? Now, do you want to double Sack Boy? I mean, I don't think... Sack Boy is not like a once every four rooms you get a sack situation. So I don't think we need to double Sack Boy. Look at that. Um... We could try to double this, but I still, I, I like to double items more. Alge's Blank Rune. That was Parer Throw. Awaz, just use it. Not far behind schedule anymore. Degas is wonderful. Yera, Alge's, Yera. And then the World card, so we get a secret room. I think we're just gonna hold Yera. There's not much reason to have, like, ten Yera runes. You can only take one, maximum two down, so... I don't think we really care all that much. Kara. I think you just buy Sack Boy. I'm gonna buy the Spirit Art as well. Peeler doesn't do anything for us. Um, and the reason that I didn't want to use the Omega Penny there, even though you can give you the items for free, which would be great with money equals power, but um, I, I might want to try to duplicate what this guy's got going on. Get two cubes of meat for the price of one. Now, this is like the textbook example of what not to do. Because one cube of meat is much better proportionally than zero cubes of meat. Or than two cubes of meat is compared to zero. It's a very complicated sentence. We don't even want to duplicate this. So I think we want to take one and then try to turn it into something else. And it turned out to be squeezy, which is awesome for us. And we'll head down to the next floor. What I mean to say is that 50% odds you go from one to two. That's good. That's the ideal outcome, obviously. But we don't care about it as much as we care about the penalty, which is the 50% chance of going from 1 to 0. Because 0 cubes of meat is a lot worse relative to 1 cube of meat than 2 cubes of meat is better. If that makes any sense at all. I think the, the explanation sort of starts to make sense. And we're putting together a worthwhile run here. There's no question that the, uh, you know, the Crooked Penny... I call it that every now and then, just so you remember that I actually do know what it's called in actuality. But um, the Crooked Penny, it's got some little foibles along with it. You know, it's not the most reliable item in the game, necessarily. It's like Jim Carrey in Liar Liar, you know? It's charismatic, and, you know, when it's on, it's on, but it also it, it, it's not always going to show up for the birthday parties, right? That being said, I think it's the right choice for us right now, just to... Just to keep us going. Just to keep morale high. And, and it's worked out pretty well so far. Dude, we want this. And we'll turn two pennies into one penny. Great deal. But either way, you want the uh, you want the cancer trinket there. Three spirit arts is great. And then uh, the wafer effect. Like the, I'd go so far as to say that the cancer item is almost as good as the wafer. If the wafer's a 10, the cancer item's like an, an 8. It's not a 9. 
but it's uh, it's an eight because you do probably take if you looked at a distribution of damage I, I'm gonna stand a reason or I'm gonna I'm gonna at least guess that you probably take one damage on the most rooms and then multiple hits on less rooms than you take one damage on you probably take zero damage on the vast majority of rooms in Isaac and then uh, after that would be like one damage and then probably like two three four etc etc uh, repeating of course now the shops are still extremely viable because I mean we could basically get everything in them for free if we get a, a good roll you know what that saved me from having to worry about what we were gonna do with diplopia so I guess I, I owe that a debt of gratitude he said in between tears um, there is a battery charge real close so we're gonna go back for that we don't need to okay grab this I was actually hoping it would be the fallen but the guppy dream is still you know oh, available for us come on come on oh dude an explosion with his mouth open I hope that that would still count maybe maybe not either way he's done it's a very quick uh, big horn fight why not see that is a situation in which Omega Penny is like it doesn't really matter sure maybe we'll get two pills Ooh, we're definitely gonna have the chance for boss rush if we play our cards right here um two pills is like okay it's really the double uh, speed upgrade that we were looking for but you know one speed upgrade zero speed upgrades two speed upgrades none of them really matter all that much uh, to us in the whole scheme of things right now so although actually one speed upgrade would be nice but if you're not gonna reroll fucking caffeine pill or, or try to double or at least do something with caffeine pill what are you doing buddy I do think that uh, in earlier caffeine pill runs and, and maybe still in this one I didn't uh, appreciate the value of picking up an item and then trying to get a second item out of it as well which really we should probably be trying to do uh, more often rather than trying to pick up two of the same item when the items not that good it's it's exclusively upside oh. oh okay well we know what we're looking for two items two shops or two items one shop sorry I'd like to think I know what I'm looking for curse rooms fine as well we can definitely uh, afford it now I don't really care about losing the pennies because we're gonna get stacked on money regardless so sure take my take my pennies inside of this room see if I care and by that I mean I am gonna come back and grab them all <laughs> it, at the cost of a half spirit heart the damage upgrade is probably worth it I'm I'm actually surprised that after uh, our very ballsy approach to the the first floor where we almost got killed and didn't get like any advantage out of it whatsoever oh we got the nail temporarily um, Wow three Yara runes and two aces of hearts Uh, we didn't quite get them all. You know I gotta. It's in my DNA. Oh, the luck upgrades. <laughs> do you get extra rolls on the chest? Nah, okay. I mean, we didn't. What are we gonna do? Pick up eight Tammy's heads. We got two luck upgrades out of it. That's a, that's a start. Chaos card. Not as useful as Yera, I think. Uh, you know, a chaos card's great, but as far as I'm concerned, we're already a chaos card. Any boss that comes in contact with us is gonna die. It's just a little bit more of a slow release formula. We're up to 99 cents, so well, we're basically at 99 cents, so we're at the maximum possible value here. We don't really want that. Oh, but we do want this. My god, he's done it again. Creep shots. We'll take. Um, the Polyphemus pickup, obviously, outrageously good. Getting creep shots was like a two for one deal where we had to, like, retain salary. Like, we got. Uh, Curse of the Tower as a result, which is probably gonna be bad. I would like one spirit heart to hedge my bets and we will pick up mom's bottle of pills 
which gives us a th second health upgrade. Okay, so now we're talking. Then you grab that. You grab the Omega Penny and you try for another free set and you get a penny. That's fine. You know what we should do? And I know we have money equals power, but I'm going to do it regardless. We're going to donate. We're going to donate because it's going to give us luck. We're going to donate because we have 40 damage. A couple of good reasons. Right, we have Mom's Purse so we can actually hold Rib of Greed. Uh, more like Rip of Greed on this run because we're doing so much damage that... I want to get a teleport card. Obviously, like, th that's not what it was there, so... Um, what's more important? Boss Rush or... Getting to, uh... Know you, getting to know all about you, getting to like you, getting to hope you like me. Well, I mean, Boss Rush is important. Probably more important than the item room. But only if we get an Omega Penny Charge as well. And we need to do this room and one more room to make that happen. I hope that we killed them. I think I'm just going to take this floor... Oh, I didn't kill them all. I, I'm just going to take the rest of this uh, floor slowly. I'm going to say no boss rush, no problem. We're going to go to our item room. Make sure we're getting proper, you know, trinket plays and stuff like that. And I think we got the right set. Oh, we don't need, really need Rib of Greed. And by really, I mean we don't at all need a Rib of Greed. Maybe we'll get Sackboy to drop us a battery charge, and we'll eventually be able to outrun the shitty items in here. I mean, this is not horrible as is. But I am making myself worse for your amusement. And I'm okay with that. I'm having a good time with it. <sighs> okay. We're going to wait until we get a charge here. Explosivo is almost a detriment for us right now. I mean, it's not a detriment, but it's almost a detriment. So why am I not picking up Farting Baby? Well, those astute amongst you are probably aware that I'm trying to uh, double it again. We don't want to double Infestation 2, but we will do that. Get Big Fan. Okay. And then there's going to be no pedestals in there, so that's pretty good. And then we're going to leave. Go back to this room. Should have picked it up first. But a relatively minor mistake in the whole scheme of things. So with no boss rush coming, we, we basically chose not to do boss rush. And I'm okay with it. That amnesia pill really uh, sucked the wind out of my sails. The other thing is, though, by going back, we did get infestation 2. And uh, it's like, you know, one of the best items in the game. So I'm not feeling the burn too much. We got two boss fights here. We're not going to get a charge unless we get sack boy. And, oh, disregard... We gotta, we gotta pay out right there. Our spiders are gonna do enough damage to kill a small boss in one hit, I think. That's pretty swell. Um, we might as well. Why not? Take Halo, duplicate it, becomes a magic mush. <laughs> There's some runs where you just have to say, you know... Northern Lion Luck is real. And it really, really has worked out that way on this run. We'll take the Polaroid. Um, it's a pretty silly situation. We're getting, like, a lot of the best items in the game. Uh, if I were a boss, I would probably be this way because it's forcing us to go to more rooms. Not many more, but slightly more. And I think we really... <laughs> we should fight Hush. Now, the question, do you want to go to the Void? I mean, we have this Yarrow rune, so I'm probably going to say no, but, um, you know, we'll go to the chest instead where we can have more fun. But we've had so many, like, delirium level runs lately that it's kind of ridiculous. So in here, these are not guppy items. This is void, which I got to think about. First off, take black powder. Take Void. I think we can use it. I think we can use it. So what am I going to do? Well, I'm going to go get a battery charge. Which is going to take us five rooms, unfortunately. Well, okay, I mean, theoretically, you throw a bomb down there. 
Now we basically still have Omega Penny. It's just got a much longer charge and we can get more stuff with it. But I don't know if maybe I've double dipped on Absurdity here and, and it's going to make life weird. Because <laughs> like, I w here's the way we're going to try this now. We're going to go pick up this because it's good and we could use the tears upgrade after getting Polyphemus then we're gonna do that okay it became a penny but the idea is that if it gave us an item pedestal that would be good but what if it gave us an item pedestal and then we immediately sucked the item that came out of the item pedestal you know you're, you're starting to see where I'm maybe originally you were like why is NL you know going cross-eyed over this it doesn't seem like it should be that much of a problem it's not a problem so to speak it's just uh there's there's a lot of factors seeming to be at play here that uh wouldn't say frighten me, but interest me. You know, we got to think about them. It's just a, it's an unusual run. That was the room. I was kind of expecting like five of those bosses or something like that. You know, just something to work up a little bit of a sweat. I mean, what is, what else are we doing here? I don't know what we got hit by there. That's not me saying I didn't get hit. I just didn't internalize or conceptualize what hit me. Get a nice little spider army going for us here. We should probably go back for the key. And if we're going to get the key, let's get the money. All of it. Okay. These spiders are going to destroy. It took like two spiders to do that. Are we going to do hush? We should do the hush fight. But don't go to Delirium. Or don't go to Void. Use the Yara Rune on the chest instead. Curse of the Blind. You wouldn't. So we're looking for battery charges out here. Okay, a battery charge in the shop would also be fine. Algis is actually really good. Because uh, here's what we want to do. I think we want to... We could Void both, or we could pick up one and then Void it. I'm going to try to pick up one and Void it. Loki's Horns. We voided it. Shit. <laughs> that sucked. Okay. Loki's horns could be good though. Tear detonator. It's garbage. I mean, there's no point in even voiding this one. Um, card is temperance. Looking for sacks that would give us battery charges. There you go. Two of hearts. Not worth it. Um, again, the void is not worth it though. So you come in here. Void them both. It. It was a suck, and it gave us two new item pedestals. If we walk out and walk back in, there's still two new items. My god, we found it. So we sucked up two passives and created two passives. We sucked up two passives and created two passives. We've done it. My god. Gentlemen, we've made a major breakthrough today. There we go. We got our last suck there. And um, we have 8.17 damage now. That's pretty swell. Oh my lord, um, our rate of fire? Is this thing on? That seems extremely great. So I'm gonna pop Alges, um, basically because I want to stack up as many Al uh, Explosivo shots as, you know, the world will allow us to. I know that he has boss armor, but still. He's not getting slowed, so we should pop up. As soon as he pops up, he's going to eat it. I want him to create more uh, flies, though. We're going to lose algae pretty soon. Yeah, I think it's blinking. Yeah. Um, we want him to create more flies because the flies uh, are going to allow us to get spiders. The spiders are going to give us a huge damage increase without even having to wait for explosivo shots to pop. So... The only worry I have is did we possibly void a spacebar item that is bad for us? But how bad would it have to be to counteract the goodness of what you see in front of you at this present moment? Well, you know, the, the cancer uh, item is paid for itself, I'd say. Get the hell out of here. We did fine until the, until the very end of that. We got a little wonky there, but... Death card, Yara card. Okay. Dude, this is a good setup. I mean, we, we've been having a lot of really fun runs lately. This one definitely fits the bill as well. But does it fit the Ted? 
Good one. Good. It's, it's really good joke. Northern Lion, that's a good one. Joker? Question mark card. I mean, the question mark card is a doubled effect for the void. Um, so we want to use it, but we don't want to use it on the next floor because it means that we've lost our um, Yera, our use of the Yera. So I kind of just want to use it on like... If we could get like an item and give it a shot. Like, this would be a good opportunity. You know what? Actually, let's do it. Wait, I'm not even holding the card anymore. I still want to try to duplicate it right now. I think we just got a penny. Why did I try to duplicate that? I wanted um, two locust... Uh, two locust options. Because... Then we could take both of them. We'll just hold on to Yara. I think it's clear that <laughs> I'm in no mental state to be making a decision like that. Um, okay, just get yourself hidden here. Kill these enemies before they can do anything to you. It's pretty much the name of the game at this point. Stop taking ridiculously dumb damage. Hey, Tomo, what's wrong, buddy? You've never seen a run this powerful? I know. It's. I mean, it's a pretty good one. Best run ever? Nah. It's, it's up there, but it would be pretty disingenuous to say best run ever, I think. It's very good. Very, very good. But it's not quite... Uh, it's not quite best run ever territory. Pop Yera. Pop a Yera, now I'm sweating. Okay, so what do we want here? Certainly there's some of these items. I don't want to take the risk that we won't see them. We want Syringe. We want Rune Bag. Or Euthanasia, I should say. We want Holy Water, because then we can re-roll it into something better than Holy Water. We want Parasite. We want Ghost Pepper. Why not take Lost or Friendly Fly? And then, we've been teleported, but they all turned into coins anyway. Or, like, rather, they turned into one coin anyway. So, that was a suboptimal roll of, the, uh, of Fate's Dice there. But, that's life, dude. Either way... We still picked up a lot of great stuff as a result of that Yara rune, so I ain't feeling too bad. Okay, so, crack it. Lead pencil, great item. We sucked it. <laughs> Did it create another item? I can't tell, honestly. Another battery charge? Another... No, not another Yara rune. I think it created a coin. Algae's rune. Dude, this is... Is quite good. Battery? Battery. Beautiful. Crack it. Black bean. We don't want two black beans. So what's going on in that room now? It looks like it became a penny again. It's very easy to be tempted into saying that, like, probably, oh, the odds change. You know, when you're doing it this way, your odds are worse. I don't think so, though. I don't think so. I think it's just, you know, luck of the draw. Either way, we've gotten some really good items. Oh, I mean, you gotta you take Guppy's head. And then you do that, and then you try to double it to become Guppy, even though I don't think it works that way. Varicose Veins. God help any enemy that hits us. Like, you're done. Your ashes will scatter to the earth. You will be no more. We'll try to duplicate those. And yeah, we might as well... I'm, I'm really into the pick up and duplicate meta here. A.K.A. the Michael Keaton multiplicity. I don't want to fight the boss yet, because that gives us a good excuse to finish the run. I don't want to finish the run just yet. Oh, we had a charge. Okay, you're re well, first off, let's see what this is. Broken mirror. My reflection, we'll take it. We got an Ansu's rune. Oh, no kidding, looks like the boss fight's right there. Who would have thought? Alright, we got a Degas rune. So we come back here, grab it, Beelzebub, grab it, it's HP. Oh, we got a duplication there. Okay, now we're looking for another battery charge. Because this is the thing that I like about this, is that we get the opportunity to actually... Uh... Ooh, no, no spun. We get the opportunity to uh, just endlessly double items by using the void here. That's a really cool combination. That being said, we are, unless we get a battery charge right there, we are going to finish the run. 
Because, you know, we're just lollygagging at this point. That was a really fun one, though. You know what? Absolutely. You earned it, game. We'll slowly walk into the void portal. So we'll have lots of suck opportunities here. I don't like saying it that way. In hindsight. We're going to kick the Christ out of the rest of the game. Um, we should look for Yeras and stuff like that. But, like, all other consumables interest me basically zero. Battery charges do interest me. Hey, was. Makes my life easy. No, actually, it makes my life substantially harder because I have no idea where I am or where I've been. What I really like about Tiny Planet in this situation, since I don't get to say all that often, is that um, we basically cannot have a spider hit an enemy before we hit it. Our shots come out so fast. So, I mean, I, I'm not sure what I'm getting out of uh, out of the void at this point. Creating some weird situations, there's no doubt about that. Okay, and now this is where we started. Um, I'm just using it to use it at this point, and I think that's okay. I think you you would forgive me for that because it's a very strange run. I think we've done a, a very good job of navigating that strangeness. Come on, dude. He's never gonna pop. Oh my god, this is like perfect timing. It might be the best tiny planet run I've ever had. That's as far as I'm willing to go right now. But it's... In that department, it's gotta be considered up there. I mean, have you seen it? got so many consumables I don't even know what to do. I want to fight Delirium. Oh my god, it's the Forsaken. He died in two hits. Alright, well, there you go. He's, we, we got a shot speed increase for sucking that item up. I wish we hadn't sucked up Golden Teleporter, but I don't know what we could have done to, to do that while still, you know, preserving the integrity of the run. Cats, do not fight one another. You're the closest thing you got to brothers in this crazy mixed up world. Please. <laughs> Let me out of here. Give me give me back my son. We have nine luck. Please. Delirium. Oh, it's Loki and he's dead. Okay. Sticky bombs. Are you hearing this cat action that's happening in the background here? They always fight for dominance. You realize, like... Each one of the people that resides in this house is approximately, like, you know, at least 10,000 times smarter than you by any conceivable metric except, like, who's awesome at hunting mice, in theory. You're all competing for the bronze medal here. I guess, you know what? Golden Teleporter is doing a decent job on Curse of the Unknown, oh lord, of putting me back on the right track. There was an enemy on there at some point, I suppose. Um, Cause anytime I use Golden Teleporter, it takes me to a room I have not been to. There we go. This is ridiculous. I do not possess the brain capable to dodge all of these ridiculous shots, but there you go. Uh, that run is done. For now, thanks for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed the episode. If you did, click the like button. It helps out a great deal. Of course, subscribe if you want to see more in the future. For now, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.